Do you want to filter your Excel tables in a new way and completely automatic? Then stay with me until the end of this video. How can we do a filter using a function instead of the traditional filter here in the columns? We can use a function called filter that is available only in Microsoft Office 355. The older version of Excel don't have this function. So let's call the function here, filter. This function calls an array. So the array will be our entire table. It's easier for us to grab the entire columns. I'm gonna freeze the columns. And now include is the <clears throat> conditions that we need to have to filter our table. I want to filter only products that are genes. So I will select the column. And this column will be genes. And hit enter. As you can see, it created for us a table. The cool thing about this function is that every time we include a new row in our original table, this table here will be automatically updated. Okay? Now, let's say that we want to use more than one argument. For example, uh, two products, things or jackets. Or we can filter by a product and a sales channel. How can we do that? It's the equivalent to the and and or functions. The function and and the function or. But it's a little different here. So uh, I want that the new table, the filter table, will be filtered by product that will be jinx or jacket. So I will go here. I will close this parenthesis. I will create a parenthesis the first argument. I'm gonna put a plus sign, open a new parenthesis. I will copy this because it's the same uh, call. And now instead of jinx, I want jacket. Close this parenthesis and close the other parenthesis and hit enter. As you can see now, both things and jackets are being filtered. This is the key equivalent to the OR function. Now, uh, let's say that we want to use the AND function, that is, products that are jeans and channels that are online. Let's edit here. I will take this off. Uh, instead of using the plus sign, we need to use an asterisk. And now you want that sales channel will be equal to online. Don't forget that we need to put a parenthesis here. And now close the other parenthesis. Hit enter. As you can see now, it only using jeans and online. Pretty cool, right? Now, uh, we can do an extra thing that is to order the filter table. How can we order? We need to include a new function called order. So, uh, let's say that I want to order by the total sales, ordering by the minimum value to the maximum value. So what I need to do? Uh, outside the filter function, I need to call another function, call it sort. The sort color array, the array is our filter function. And the sort index, the sort index is the column. The sales date is the column one, the order ID two, product three, category four, sales channel five, Total sales six. And the order. I want ascending or descending. I want descending. And close this parent. And hit enter. As you can see now, 
it's sorting by the maximum value to the minimum value. Pretty cool, right? This formula is extremely useful and we can use our imagination to make it easier and give our analysis another great step. I hope that you like it. So, what do you think of today's video? Let me know all in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other content. And I see you guys on our next video.